Hey y'all, it's D here. I come here today to do some saving challenges. So stay tuned. Hey, okay y'all. So it's time to do some saving challenges again. So today I will be allocating a total of $92. And so let's just stuff this $92. I did want to say thank you to Melissa from Budget Stuff Save Repeat. I did win a giveaway of hers and 10 of this 10 of these dollars is coming from that giveaway. So thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's just hop into this allocation, y'all. So most of this money is coming from money I received from my tax clients. And yeah, I am all done with my tax season. Hopefully, <laughs> you just never know. For today, my pick a random number challenge will be getting a total of $51. My finish the circles challenge will be getting a total of $17 and my 26 week challenge will be getting a total of $24. Okay, before I actually count the cash, I did want to show you my top selling book on Amazon, which is my mini savings challenges book catered towards low income. It has a total of 24 Mini saving challenges and trackers. So I'll flip through this real quick. Some of these are available on these digital world and some of them are not. But yeah. And I have my money trackers back in the back. So thank you to everybody who has supported me on my Amazon books. It is greatly, greatly appreciated. So yeah. So let's make sure I have $92. So I have 50, 70, 85, 87, 89, 91, and 92. Challenge I'll be doing today is my finish the circles challenge. And I'm trying to save up a total of $206 that would go towards my household special fund. And I use this to get things around the house like decor and small repairs. So today I'll be allocating a total of 17 as I stated. So I will be coloring in a 10, a four, and a two, which is 16, and half of this two right here. So, y'all, I found this little bracelet I have on my hand um, in my jewelry box. And I cannot remember where I got it from. I really think it was from my mom when she went to Florida a couple years back. So, I've just been wearing it. And I just think it's cute. Yeah. So, that's 10. Fourteen. 16 and this is on these two of the world which is linked down below and i'm gonna color in half of this two to signify 17 dollars so that is that move this aside for a second and this challenge is in this binder. I did get this binder from Fundy Megita Jones. She is always linked down below. And this challenge is number four in this binder. I will not be counting the money because I only count the money when I actually finish the challenge. Let me make sure this is in the right frame. 
Okay, so I only count the money when I finish the challenge. So today is actually 4-25. And with me adding this $17, it will be a total of $21 set aside for this challenge. So 10, 15, and 17. So this is coming along. I'm not in a rush to finish this. I just wanted to add some more money to this special fund. And next, I will be doing my next challenge. So the next challenge I'll be doing is my pick the random number challenge. And I'm excited to say I will be finishing this challenge today. And I'm just going to color this in. And once I finish coloring this in, I will bring y'all back. done coloring this in i am excited to have this extra money from my tax clients to knock out some of my bigger challenges in the first quarter and into april so with me finishing this challenge i should have 103 dollars and this 103 dollars will be allocated towards my general savings fund which i'm trying to add at least two thousand dollars this year so this hundred and three dollars will help me out quite a bit before i actually allocate the 51 dollars. i will would like to show you my next challenge i'll be starting since i finished this one and i will be starting next my spring savings challenge and this is available on these digital world and I, it is a total of 50 of these little petals and my goal so i want to save a total of 50 dollars for this challenge and i will be putting this money towards my general savings fund once i am done with this and i did need to go back in here and signify done on my pick the random number challenge that I did finish. So done 4 25. So yay! And I did also want to update my tracker for my savings challenge. My savings challenges for the year. So I created this to track my savings challenges and when I'm able to finish them and what they're allocated towards and how much I saved and when I actually finished it. So this was done on 4.25. And okay, I think that is it for tablet for today. So, so my pick the random challenge is in this first one. And today is... 4-25 and after I add this $51 I should have 103 as the tracker stated for the savings challenge so it's going to be a total of 50 and 1 so add it to what I already had so 50 one, two, three. <laughs> Let me do it okay. So 50, 100, two, and three dollars. So I am actually going to set this aside because I will be allocating this money in just a second. But first, I wanted to show you some challenges I will be starting real soon and to get this spring savings challenge tracker set up in my binder.
So some new challenges I will be starting from red to black budgeting. Um, I purchased these last year back at the beginning of the BCL movement that Budgeting April started. I will be doing her $1 challenge, her $2 challenge, and her $5 challenge. So I'm trying to use all the challenges up that I got from other creators. And once I get that done, I will start buying more. But for right now, I'm going to use what I have. And another set of new challenges that I'll be using is the seven challenges from One Frugal Introvert. And I also bought these last year along the BCL. So I'll be doing her $63 challenge, her $83 challenge, and her $121 challenge. I will have all the Etsy shops linked down below and or the creator. So yeah, that is a glimpse to what I will be doing in the near future. Now, coming in, this video will probably post in May. And in starting in May, you'll probably see maybe one or two seven challenge videos. It just depends on how my money flows. If you have been following my budget with me, I am having a downturn in my income. So I'm not going to be able to stuff as much as i have been in the past so yeah y'all just gotta do what you gotta do six week savings challenge and it is in this beautiful binder that i got from soul mama if you're interested in this binder or any other binders or any other budgeting materials i do have an affiliate link down below i will see receive a small commission if you use my link to make a purchase with soul mama so Next, I will be going into the 26 weeks challenge, and it is housed right here. And let me get out the tracker. Uh oh. So I'm trying to save a total of $2,000, as I stated earlier. This savings challenge is from Jessie C. Envelopes. I will have her link down below. I did win this from her last year so for the first part of this challenge i will be allocating the 24 dollars that i allocated from my current money that i had so this is 22 and 4. and with that 24 dollars right here it will allow me to color in this number 24 right here And I hope this is not confusing. I'm using other smaller saving challenges to add to this savings challenge since it is worth $1,014 when I finish this. So I'm trying to just break it down in smaller bits so it won't be so overwhelming. And next is the $103 that I just finished from the pick the number pick the random number challenge. And I will be able to color in 56. And most of 48. I am a dollar short. Because you have that. Let me move this out of the way. That 103 minus this 56. Equals a total of $47 that I had to allocate. So, and this right here is for 48. So I, I'm going to owe this challenge $1. And I've already noted it on the back, so I won't forget. And I'm not gonna color in this full 48. So if you see on the back here, I owe 48 a dollar. So once I do this challenge again, I will finish coloring that in. So I'm gonna put this back in here. And this is my tracker. So I added a total of 24 plus 103, which is a total of $127 to this savings challenge. I will insert pictures. It will be two different pictures of my 
balance in my account and the actual two transfers that I'm going to do. But the balance should be around $2,498. And it's going to be a little bit different because I don't include the change on here when I'm doing it for y'all. And let's just add this $127 into the mix. And as usual, I'm not going to count the money. I'm just going to put it in here. So this is most of the money right here that I have already stuffed for this savings challenge. Then back here, I have $2,000 to represent. And this is pretty much what I had in my account at the beginning of the year. And put my tracker back in there. And y'all, that is it for my video. It's probably going to be kind of short because I only did three seven challenges. But I finished one and I am grateful for that. So that was my $92. I hope that y'all have a blessed day. And don't forget to make the money, but don't let the money make you. And I did want to show y'all my mother's ring. I got her this ring when I was younger, and it was her mother's egg ring. And it has her birthstone and her three kids' birthstone on there. And this ring is so old. She got this for me when I was... I wasn't even middle school and I've just been sizing it, you know, when I was growing up, but I haven't had to size it in a while. So yeah, y'all. Okay. That is it. Stuff any amount you can, y'all. It does not matter if it's a dollar or what have you. I stuffed $92 and I was able to finish a challenge and yeah, y'all. I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.